G'day viewers, how the devil are you? Well, you're looking at my latest burner design which I call the Torpedo Burner. As you can see, it's a straight shot through which makes it a linear configuration. No pipes coming off at funny angles or anything like that. I think this should help uh, with the practicality of installation in different things such as furnaces for for metal melting or heating for different things like that. It's basically uh, one pipe with some holes in it stuck in the end of what constitutes a larger pipe being in this case a fire extinguisher. The way it's designed is this is the internal pipe and as you can see I'm just drilling some holes at random in basically the top half of the thing. Now as you can see there's no measurement um, I'm not I didn't work this out or anything like everything I do uh, it's done with the total accuracy of eyeballing it and that's close enough don't go asking me for plans and measurements I don't have any I built the bastard it works end of story you guys will have to figure the rest out the idea is to be like a jet engine combustor along those lines uh, I'm only doing the air holes on the top half because I don't want the oil running too much out the bottom. As you can see, this is the way it goes in the extinguisher bottle. I basically roughly centered the thing, cut a hole, shoved it in and that was it. Now there's a very important safety message here if you pay attention. Uh, for all the safety sissies that are always going on about gloves and PPE. And there we have it. You do what you want fellas, I'll do it my way. Now, the next thing is, before everybody starts harping, oh, the plasma cutter's not right, you're doing it wrong. Yes, I worked that out. It's irrelevant, I'm just showing you how to do it. Cut a bloody hole in the thing. Whichever way you wanna do it, angle grinder or whatever, it's just showing you that I'm cutting a couple of holes in it. Um, all you need to do is make the hole so the uh, pipe in this will slide through the center. Once again, I didn't measure what size pipe that was. I don't give a damn. It was what I had, so that's what I used. As you can see, it just simply slots in there like that, and I keep the air holes pointing up. The reason is I don't want the air, which is cold, impacting the oil. It stops it vaporizing. Now, I had a change of heart a couple of times halfway through this, so that's why I've come up with a half round square hole. Doesn't really matter. It, it's only a, a test, this one, to actually see if it would work. Now, this is the end of the pipe that goes in the center where the air holes are. One mistake I did make here was that I didn't seal it properly. Instead of welding a, a piece on, like I'm doing here, uh, which it, incidentally was the piece I cut out of the bottle what I'd suggest you do is use a Welsh plug or some of you call it a freeze plug get one for the pipe that you're using bash it in and get a nice tight seal the one little problem I get with this is because that parts not completely sealed and it is at the end of the burner it does tend to spray a bit of oil out uh, which isn't completely heated and burned. So just be aware of that. It's, um, it's not really a big problem, especially if you're going to enclose this in something, but it would be better without it. Now, all I did here was uh, basically tack weld this, stood back, lined it up a bit. Again, eyeballed it. All you engineers out there can do a much better job than, than I can. But, you know, as I say, I did it. It worked. End of story. Uh, for the safety sissies out there, the safety tip is, if you're going to whinge and whine about anything you're seeing here, just don't build it. Just go back, you know, to your stamp collecting or, you know, hairdressing videos, whatever you like, and leave this stuff to somebody else. Um, you know, it's, it's not for babies and sissies, and if you don't have the skills, don't worry. Now, again, in the spirit of, of using what's around, that's a, uh, a bonnet support which you know holds a bonnet up on a car nice little bit of rod and you can see with all the accuracy of measurement and and um, pre-planning how i i bent that around and put it on 
what I wanted was just to keep the thing up off the ground uh, so I can install it easily and put it in different things. I put the burner on the couple of jack stands, get it even, draped the thing over and welded it. And that's basically it. That's the finished burner. Uh, obviously the, the free end that's uh, not on the extinguisher goes into the blower. There's a hole there like they all do. If you haven't seen it, look at my other videos. And that just um, feeds the oil in, which is blown through. It gets hot in the extinguisher, vaporizes, and shoots out the end as you saw in the opening clip. So that's basically it. Really simple to do and that's how it works read the message i didn't take any measurements or anything you guys have seen it i made it up out the top of my head so it should be easy for you to copy um, if you'd like to see other videos check out what's on my channel subscribe for part two which will be coming up and uh, thanks very much for watching